Okay, guys. Just when you thought it could not get any more fucked up on this planet, uh, I just got a message from Patreon. I uh, I am still on Patreon, believe it or not. I I think I'm making on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Where have I fallen? I used to make about $500 a month on Patreon. I think I get about 80 or $90 a month. Anyway, I, have, I really do appreciate uh, anyone who has ever subscribed to either one of my Patreon accounts. And Sancho Panza still does have a Patreon account. But anyway, so I'm hearing from Patreon. With, and they're asking me a question. Would you let these creators crash your wedding. Yes. You cannot make this shit up. The normies, the normies are turning fans into friends. This group of TV losers, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> this group of TV lovers never thought they could connect with people just by filming their weekly <coughs> watch parties i think they mean their tv uh, their tv wa tv watch parties i think what they do is they pick a television show to watch sit around the couch talking about the television show while it's playing now they have over 10,000 patrons in their tight knit community Yes, they might have a massive following, but the normies keep their videos super personal, making every single viewer feel like they're with them on that couch. Yes, normies viewers are more than just fans. The creators, the normies, game and chat with their normie community constantly building real relationships that last a lifetime. In 2018, the group started NormieCon. I, I, if anyone accusing me of making this up, uh, in 2018, the group started NormieCon as a way to get to know their fans even better. It's where they can talk TV, meet new people, and hang out IRL, I think, meaning in real life. So the normies have got taken it to real life. The normies have become so close with their fans over the years that they even got invited to one of their normie weddings and showed up. There you go. To learn more about the normies, check out this video. I see I already, I put on an ad for a spool of wire 90 seconds ago, and I already just got a text someone in 90 seconds it took me to sell. But before I go sell a spool of wire, let's check out the normies. We're going to come in after the first 37 seconds, which you cannot endure. So who are the normies? Hey guys, it's hey. us the normies. We react to TV shows, movies, we do skits. What's up, nerds? What's great about the normies is it's not just watching somebody react to something. It's like you're hanging out with a group of friends. Uh-uh. Oh. At first, we were a really small community, so we got to know them on a very like personal level. You know, we were sending things for unboxings, and they took the time and effort to get to know us. <laughs> this was the first sword we got. It was a wild day. Wow, this is so awesome that someone loves us this much to just see us excited over a toy, essentially. 
I'm Suraj. I am the CEO and founder of the Normies. My name is Marqueta, and I'm the COO of the Normies. And before we got these fancy titles, we were just a group of friends that got together once a week to watch. I've got to shows. get a Normies t shirt. I, I have to order a Normies t shirt. It's carried us the rest of the way forward. Which house are you in? Lannister. Lannister? That's Targaryen. No, it's not. That's straight. It's oh my goodness, whatever. <laughs> Nobody likes to go to the movies by themselves. It's a lot more fun to go with your friends and kind of share in that experience. And this is just another way to do that. We like to have our informal couch setting because it imposes the imagination of the viewer that they are here with us mm -hmm. and they get to have the back and forth with us. I've got uh -oh. to get the normie uh -oh. t-shirt. Part of being an influencer is to have a conversation with your audience, and I think they really feel at home with us. So hey guys, this is the Don't Laugh Challenge for charity. You guys send me links, and every time I laugh, we are donating $5 on behalf of the Normies to direct relief for medical for the coronavirus. Yes. There's a lot of ways that the community has grown and found different ways to interact with each other. We have game nights, movie nights, we talk with the Normies, we talk with each other. Some of us are such good friends now, we meet up in person. I guess the idea of Normicon came about because we're like, we should do a fan meetup or something. We had our Just Dance station. We had a trivia station. So we tried to create stations that kind of reflect little aspects of our channel. We only had about 25 or so that first year. It was the perfect size for everyone to get to know each other. I've been to Comic Cons before. That's really stressful. You're waiting in lines for panels. I think I slept outside two days in a row. Normie Con is not like that. It's a convention in the sense that they are a group on the internet, but this is definitely more of like, let's hang out and have fun, you know. Shut up! Fuck! Alright, guys, we need a Humpty Dumpty con. We have definitely got to, uh, the cat did not, uh, like me, uh, yelling shut up. The, the cat wants to make sure I'm alright, yes. Uh... I think we need a Humpty Dumpty con uh, <laughs> for the Doomer meetup. Jesus fucking Christ, we're so fucked. Anyway, I have to go sell a spool of wire, and uh, I'll have to come back to the last two minutes of this exciting documentary in a minute. Uh, and I do appreciate everyone, the, the few, the proud people still remaining on my Patreon page. Love you guys, because you ain't normies, but we I uh, am getting the normie t-shirt. There is no way. I'm going to take the money I make from selling the spool of wire and buy me some normie con merch. Bye, guys.